Good afternoon everybody, glad that you could join us again for another story. Today's story is a story about a little boy and his dog and it's called Oliver and Patch and this story is written by Claire Friedman and Kate Hindley. So I'll turn over first of all and read you the blurb on the back of the book. It says when Oliver finds a little lost dog called Patch, he makes his first friend in a big new city. The trouble is he knows that someone somewhere will be looking for him. Hmm. So let's see what's going to happen. It does definitely look like they're in a big city here. There's lots and lots of buildings. There we go, get yourself all comfy. Oliver had just moved to the big city. It felt strange and his old home in the countryside seemed far, far away. Oh, I miss the green fields, Oliver sighed. I miss the wide open spaces. But most of all, I miss my friends. That must be so difficult to move to somewhere new. One morning, Oliver felt restless. Even though the rain was pouring down like silver needles, he wanted to be outside to explore. People hurried by, unseeing and unlooking. Oliver glanced about, wondering which way to go, when suddenly he saw it, bright as a poppy in a cornfield. What could it be that Oliver's looking at over here? Can you see? What could it be? A small, soggy, white ball of a dog, trailing a streak of a red leash. He was all alone, just like Oliver. Hello, said Oliver. Are you lost? He looked at the little dog's collar tag. Patch, it read. Just Patch. Oliver looked around. Nobody was calling for the lost dog. What shall I do with you, Oliver said to Patch. I can't leave you on your own. Before he knew it, Oliver had the lead in his hand and Patch was trotting along beside him. Oliver and Patch had a wonderful day, getting to know each other. For the first time since moving to the city, Oliver felt happy. He's got somebody to play with. But as dusk fell, Patch became sad. He sat on Oliver's desk by the window and he gazed out longingly. Somewhere out there, in the rain-hazy twinkle of the city nights, was his real home. I wonder where that could be. Oliver woke the next morning to a scratchy, scruffling noises. Oh, Patch, Oliver laughed. They played all day long. Hide and seek, tickle tummy, bury the biscuit, curl up and cuddle, watering the garden. But at bedtime, Patch seemed sad again. And even though it made him feel wobbly, Oliver knew he had to do the right thing. So they're all the exciting things that they did that day. But the moment it gets dark, Patch gets sad again. So the next day he made some posters. He secretly hoped nobody would see them. It says, found! A small white dog called Patch likes chewing cushions, does anything, likes anything the colour red, does somersaults, telephone Oliver. So he's going to put these posters up all around the city. So if anybody knows, if anybody's looking for Patch, they might spot it on the poster. He stuck it up, he stuck the posters up and he asked some shops and houses. Mm, no, never seen that dog before, the shopkeeper said. No one knows a missing dog, said his neighbours. Days slipped by and nobody called. Oliver began to believe that Patch would be his dog forever. He brought him some cosy red blankets and lots of toys. It was as if they'd always been best friends. One morning it was gently drizzling. Oliver and Patch went exploring and they wandered down a narrow street, past tall iron railings by an ancient church. Suddenly, Patch barked. 
He tugged hard on the lead and he broke free. Patch, Oliver called. Patch. Breathless, Oliver reached a tiny park, hidden away like a jewel. A girl was sitting on the strings, sad and alone. Oliver looked at her and her red coat and her red boots. And he knew. The little girl was hugging Patch, hugging and hugging. Oliver tried to be brave, but his world had turned very grey again. Hello, I'm Ruby, the girl said, smiling at Oliver. Have you been looking after Patch for me? Oh, it's been lovely, said Oliver, trying hard to smile back. But I'm really going to miss him. Then he had a thought. Ruby, do you think maybe you and Patch would like to visit me one day? Oh, we'd love to, said Ruby. Why don't we go and do something together right now? Woof, barked Patch. Woof, woof. Oliver and Ruby laughed. At that moment, the sun burst out and the pavement shone as a million raindrops glistened like gold. The city looked beautiful and Oliver realised he hadn't lost a friend. But he had found another one. The end. Oh, what a lovely story. So actually, in the end, he gained his friend Patch, but also Ruby. So he wasn't lonely in the end after all. So that story today was called Oliver and Patch, and I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>